Hey everybody, we're out here in the woods today and we're going to talk about how you can use the barometer sensor on your GPS device to help forecast weather. Now the barometer is usually associated with the altimeter barometer spec on your GPS and if you have an electronic compass you probably have the barometer sensor with you there and with that be able to see the value of uh, the air pressure. Now the barometer is used to actually help with the elevation. Now GPS satellites they're pretty good with this type of accuracy not very good like this so that's why the barometer is used with that. Pressure. So uh, while for example, the DeLorme InReach Explorer does have the barometer in there. We can access or see the actual value. So we're going to be using the Garmin Phoenix for this task. And again, if you have a GPS with electronic compass or the ABC uh, feature, uh, you can probably display the barometer value on your data screen. So let's go back inside and go over what we need to do to forecast some weather. So what we're going to do here first is we're going to set units and calibrate. We're going to monitor and record and observe. That's essentially what's entailed with this. But first we're going to set up our units. So this may be a little bit different depending on your GPS units but it should be the same. So we're going to go under setup and we're going to choose units and we're going to go down to pressure and you'll have a bunch of different uh, units here we're going to be using hectopascals uh, that is essentially the unit that I see on weather stations or different websites a lot and it seems to be fairly standard if you're in North America or in Europe give or take so we're going to use hectopascals so now with our units set, we're going to go back here and show you uh, some of the readings here, depending on your watch. Now, we don't have to have the GPS enabled, but we can access our sensor and access our barometer reading. Now, what we're going to do here is we want to calibrate the barometer to start to monitor and record over a longer period. So we want to access a feature here that shows us a graph or a plot of readings here. So what we're going to do now is go back into settings or setup and we're going to go under sensor go under mode. Now it's set at on demand but we want to set it to always on and always on will give us and just to show you there when you scroll through now you start seeing the plot and now you start to see the, uh, the air pressure we also see the time lapse. So here it has information for about an hour. So that's going to be important for us later on. So now let's calibrate it to make sure we have adequate reading. So we're going to go under the setup again, go under sensor, I'm going to scroll down to altimeter. Remember, I said that usually you'll see the barometer associated with the altimeter. So that's where you might find some of the settings. The calibration, you can uh, check that at at the start or continuous if you're doing a hiking activity. The barometer plot is what we're going to be focusing on. There's a couple of settings here variable, fixed, or ambient pressure. Basically variable is used when you're tracking or moving. Your elevation will change so that will adjust with it. You can use fixed or ambient pressure when you're at base camp and you don't have the GPS on, you're just observing we're going to leave it to variable in this instance here. We're just assuming that we're going to be hiking during the day and, and everything else is fine. Now we're going to calibrate our barometer. Are we going to use the current elevation, which is an option? We're going to say no. And the reason for that is we're going to use the sea level pressure. So you can go online to your favorite weather website and choose a weather station that is at sea level. Now I'm lucky in my area, we are five kilometers away from the ocean and there is a weather station on site. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go online and take the actual recorded air pressure from the weather station and enter it here. So that uh, we're going to choose yes for that and we're going to enter the pressure right now. Alright, so we're just going to go in and that is... 
3 is the current pressure. So now that the calibration is complete. So what we're going to do now is we're going to record or observe the trend or change every three hours. And we can see here on our watch here that we have one hour of data. Now if we wanted to reset the plot and we do another uh, three hour slice, what we'll do here is go under setup and then we'll go under reset and simply clear the plots like that and now we can start over again recording atmosphere information so if we've noticed that we have a downward trend that means that we have a low pressure coming and if the readings showing a increase tendency or change that means we have a high pressure coming now I'll show a few images of uh, the, the readings after a longer period of time but let me give you the Coles notes version as to what to do with this information after. so the reason why we want to note the trend in air pressure every three hours is that over the years there have been some observations some general rules of thumb that we can apply so let's take a quick look so for example if we notice a downward trend from 0 to 3 hectopascals in a three hour slice maybe there's a low pressure coming not much change so really that's not we're not really worried about the weather over the next few hours however if we observe that we have a little bit more of a moderate drop three to six hectopascals we can expect a little bit more wind and maybe some rain during that change or upcoming and if we're noticing a very fast drop in pressure six to twelve hectopascals there's a storm coming within the next few hours or very in imminent. So if we're recording this information over a period of time, we'll be able to notice what is the general trend and then we can plan accordingly. So we've had the sensor on for about 16 hours and you can see that on the graph we are enjoying an upwards trend and that should indicate fairer weather or nicer weather. And in fact, if you see in the background here, we have a little layer of snow. And that's because we had a little bit of snowstorm uh, or a low pressure disturbance, as the weather people would say, uh, about 18 hours ago. So we would have seen a downward trend. And the rate of the drop would indicate to us when we're going to see some actual precipitation there. So, hey everybody, if you like this video, put down in the comments your thoughts on this. If I forgot something important, about this topic, put them down in the topics before. I really wanted to just cover the general basic information about air pressure and how you can actually use this screen on your GPS device to interpret the data. So we'll see you guys next time with another video.